so hello first so today we are going to learn about hybrid digestion in a very quick and easy process so first of all we have our sulfur dioxide as sulfur as a central atom with six valence electrons so out of it six valence electrons it shares two with one oxygen atom and another two with another oxygen atom so we now have two valence electrons which forms one lone pair so from the mother formula for finding out hybrid digestion that is lone pair plus bond pair we have one lone pair and two bond pair which gives a three so this three indicates one s and two p orbitals so it comes out to be sp2 hybrid digestion from the structure it is having a trigonal structure in a single plane so this trigonal structure in a single plane is its geometry so we have our geometry that is trigonal planar so when we are finding out molecular shape we have to ignore the lone pairs so we don't consider lone pair in finding out molecular shape so if we remove the lone pair then we found a bent like structure so the molecular shape of sulfur dioxide is bent so for nh3 we have nitrogen as its central atom which five with five valence electrons so nitrogen shares out of it five with three with hydrogen atom and rest two forms lone pair so less two electrons forms form for lone pair and three forms bond pair so from the formula lp plus bp that is one lone pair plus three bond pair gives four so this four denotes one s and three p orbital that is sp3 hybridization and sp3 hybridization denotes tetrahedral geometry so we if we don't consider the lone pair the rest of the structure left is a pyramidal structure so when finding out molecular shape we don't consider the lone pair and the shape comes out to be pyramidal for nh3 so pyramidal structure is for nh3 so in case of h2o the central atom being oxygen it has six valence electrons out of which it shares two with hydrogen atoms and we still have four electrons left so this forms two lone pairs each having two electrons so from the formula lone pair plus bond pair we have two bond pairs and two lone pairs so 2 plus 2 gives out to be 4 and which denotes 1s and 3p orbital total up to be 4 and this sp3 denotes a tetrahedral geometry so sp3 denotes tetrahedral geometry and if we don't consider the lone pairs the rest shape is bent like the sulfur dioxide so in case of sf4 sulfur being the central atom with six valence electrons and this out of six valence electrons it forms four bond pair with four fluorine atom and we still have two electrons which forms one lone pair so these two electrons forms one lone pair and from the formula lone pair plus bond pair lp plus bp we have one lone pair and four bond pair which gives out to be five so this five indicates that s one is 3p 4 and 15d uh, so sp3d is the hybrid digestion and sp3d denotes trigonal bi bipyramidal so in this case the geometry is trigonal bipyramidal as it is having one trigonal shape one triangle shape in the middle having two pyramidals two up two pyramids one above and one below so one trigonal shape in between and two pyramids above and below the structure and if you don't consider the lone pair it is a seesaw like shaped so seesaw is the molecular shape if we don't consider the lone pairs and for clf3 chlorine being a central atom with uh, with seven valence electrons so here chlorine is a central atom with seven seven valence electrons and it forms three bonds so it shares three electrons with fluorine 1 2 and 3 so now still we are left with four electrons so the four electrons forms two lone pairs each having two electrons so this uh, uh, hybridization is two lone pair plus three bond pair it's five again sp3d 
1 is 3p and 1d that is 5 and the structure is again trigonal bipyramidal as it is having one trigonal structure in the middle having two pyramids one above and one below. So, one trigonal structure in between and one above and one below pyramidal structures and if you do not consider the lone pairs it is a T shaped. So, if we do not consider the lone pairs it is a T shaped. So, the molecular shape comes out to be a T shape. So, T is the molecular shape. So, now we go to XCF2 our next compound. So, in XCF2 we have xenon as our central atom. So, it is having 8 electrons filled in its outer shell and it shares 2 electron with fluorine atom 1, 2 and we still left with and we are still left with 6 electrons and these 6 electrons forms 3 lone pair each lone pair having 2 electrons. So, if we come to our come to our mother formula that is the lone pair plus bond pair. So, it comes out to be 3 lone pair plus 2 bond pair which gives us to be 5 again. So, this 5 denotes there is 5 orbitals 1s, 3p and 1d and the geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. So, trigonal bipyramidal. Uh, so, bi denotes 2 again we have 2 pyramids 1 below and 1 above the trigonal structure. So, this is this is the trigonal structure and we have 2 pyramids 1 above and 1 below. And if we go to the molecular structure then we do not have to consider the lone pairs. So, the, it, so, without the lone pair it is a straight structure that is a linear structure. This is our molecular shape and trigonal bipyramidal is our geometry. So, in case of IF5 we have iodine as our central atom iodine with 7 valence electrons out of which iodine shares 5 electrons with fluorine atom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we still left with 2 electrons which forms one lone pair. So, from the formula lone pair plus bond pair we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 5 bond pair and 1 lone pair. So, uh, when we draw the structure, so 1 plus 1 lone pair plus 5 bond pair gives out to be 6. So, this 6 denotes that sp3d2 that is 1s, 3p and 2d orbital and it is our hybridization and this denotes octahedral geometry. Thus, the geometry is octahedral and it is having uh, uh, 5 bond and 1 lone pair and if we do not consider the lone pair the rest structure is a squared above which there is a pyramid. So, it is a square pyramidal in molecular shape without the lone pair it is a square pyramidal in molecular shape. So, for XCF4 we have XC as our central atom with, with 8 valence electrons out of which it forms bond with 4 fluorine atom but we are still left with 4 electrons and this forms 2 lone pairs one above and one below. So, from the formula of lone pair plus bond pair we have 2 plus 4 6 and this 6 denotes 1 is 3 p and 2 d that is sp3 do have sp3 d2 hybridization and which gives an idea of the geometry that is octahedral again like the previous one. So, we have our geometry to be octahedral and our molecular shape if you do not consider the lone pair rest of it is a square in a single plane. So, without the lone pair it is a square planar in a single plane a square shape in a plane. So, what we have learned is this LP plus BP denotes the hybridization. So, the 3 number denotes sp2, 1s, 2p orbital and this 4 denotes sp3, 4 denotes sp3 hybridization, 5 denotes sp3 dehybridization and the 6 denotes sp3 d2 hybridization. So, this was the easy method for learning the hybridization. Thank you. I hope you like this video and I will try to be consistent with the uploading of my videos and if you like it please give a like and do share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel for there is more pharmaceutical videos coming up. Bye.
Just snitch.